Ella, is it your birthday? Her's four years old. Say hi guys, I'm Ella. I'm four years old. And I'm so freaking cute with my little teeth. Sit. Bless you. The question was, all these conflicts she's having, like, what would be, like, what did we think that she should do? And we pretty much came up with, like, we think that she should just wait because it seems right now that she's under like a lot of stress anyway. She just got a divorce. She's not making enough money. She's she's just under a lot of stress. And I don't think that going to graduate school right now would be the best thing for her because it would just make all of it worse. So we said that we think that she should wait a little bit and um, get, you know, a little more calmed down and her kids will be a little bit older. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much like what we said. We just think that she should wait because if she goes to school now, she's gonna be way too stressed out. That's what we came up with. All right, thank you guys for participating. Hi guys, so it is Friday. I'll tell you the date. May 21st. Exactly a month from my last day of class ever, which is absolutely insane. Um, But, I am vlogging all day today. I don't have a super busy, busy, a busy day. <laughs> I don't have a super busy day. My plan pretty much is I have class right now. Obviously, you guys see I'm in class. Um, it starts at 8. It's 8.45 right now. I get out at 10. And then I have another class at 11 until 1. 11 to 12.40. So, my plan is to get some schoolwork done. I had to do a clinical packet. Last night, I had clinical all day yesterday, a 12 hour day, so I'm really tired this morning. Um, and yesterday was Ella's birthday, and obviously I was at clinical all day, so. I didn't get to like celebrate with her. I normally and like go all out. I take her to get a puppuccino, and then I get her all dressed up in her cute little dress, and all this stuff, but because of um, clinical, I was not able to do that. We did like have a little birthday cake for her, or whatever, so my plan is that when I get out of class at, um, this one ends at 10. So when I get out of class at 10, I am going to take her to Starbucks and get her little happy birthday dress on, take her to Starbucks and get her a puppuccino. So I celebrate a little bit late, but that's okay. Um, get myself a puppuccino. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> get myself, um, a green tea and then I'm going to come back home and then I have class, but I am also planning on studying all day long. Um, like I said, I, did my full clinical packet yesterday when we got out of clinical, so I turned that in, so that's turned in. But I also have to write a journal, a reflective journal on my day yesterday, and that's also due this weekend. But I wanna go ahead and get that out of the way, so I'm gonna do that. Um, I started on it earlier, but I need to finish that. And then I need to start studying for my second comp exam, which is crazy. I mean, what's crazy is my last exam is on June 14th, so less than a month and I'm done. Like I am done, no more nursing school until I go back to school, but it's just crazy. It, it's absolutely insane. Time is flying by. I am so stressed out. There's just so much going on. I will update you guys in the car about my life and everything going on. Um, I'm a little overwhelmed, just a little bit, but I'll keep you updated. <laughs> Load up, go, run. Good girl. She's gonna start shaking. She Maybe. needs to learn how to ride. Georgie. <laughs> Ella, Ella, are we going to get a puppuccino? Oh, Georgie's terrified. Look at Ella, <gasps> he's so happy, girl. It's her birthday, we're going to Starbucks. Okie doke, so I got lots to update you guys on. I feel like I haven't like sat down and like updated you guys on my life, so here we are. Pretty much, let me think what's first, okay. I obviously have my last day of class June 14th, which is like 
a little less than a month now, which is crazy to me because there's a mosquito in here. I gotta kill this thing, one sec. Get out of here. I think he's gone. But, but then we have graduation, obviously. And our graduation, I think, is like the beginning of August, which is crazy because that's like really far away. I don't know if that's like normal for schools, but I feel like that's excessively far away, so that's annoying. But I just ordered my cap and gown, and I scheduled my graduation pictures, which are June 14th also. Um, so I'm excited about that. And, uh, okay, what else? So my job situation, I've applied to a bunch of places. As you guys, I don't know, well, I'm sure some of you haven't seen the video, but I got a job offer at a hospital near me on a neuroepilepsy unit. Obviously, if you guys know me, you know that is not my goal, um, but you have to start somewhere. Around my area in Florida, they don't really hire new grads for anything to do with moms, babies, pediatrics, nothing, because that's not like what's needed around us. What's needed around us is like um, med surge, PCU, um, I can get a job in ICU, stuff like that, which I'm not really interested in. But that's okay, because obviously it's nursing. I mean, I, I like nursing, so gotta start somewhere. So the job I will most likely be at is neuro and epilepsy unit which is fine because she did say that i would be able to transfer to labor and delivery or NICU within like six months to a year which is awesome so i'm going to start there it's a residency program so it's like a 12 to 16 week program and i have like a preceptor and all that so that's that and my start date is august 16th as of now um, I have two more exams in nursing school, two comprehensive exams. I have one on June 4th and then one on, I don't even know, what's the other one? June 14th, I think, yeah. <clears throat> so, two more comprehensive exams. I have to pass them. Um, so, fingers crossed on that. I have a couple papers to write. I have, for clinical, we go to clinical every single Thursday. And I'm actually really liking it. I've been in the ER the past two weeks. And it's funny because I was like, I don't think I would be like an ER nurse. I actually love it. I love how fast paced it is. And like, I've gotten to do a lot. Like, I feel like it's a place like I've started a lot of IVs. I've done straight caths, like hooked them all up to EKGs and like just getting them like, just like the basics, you know? And like, I feel like I'm getting a hang of it, which is really awesome. I've done like blood draws and all that. So I feel like I'm getting a lot of experience in ER, which is amazing because I really needed that. Another thing I always said that I really wanted to do before I graduated was do CPR on somebody because that's like something that you need to know how to do. So luckily last week, I mean, not luckily because my heart goes out to the family and the patient, but I was able to step in and do CPR on a patient um, last week, which was sad obviously, but it was awesome for me to get that experience because I haven't ha like gotten to have that sort of experience with a code. So that was interesting. I was able to step in and do CPR and see how the whole code runs down. So that was good experience for me. And being in the ER, we've had a couple people come in who are in either, we had one patient with respiratory distress, we had another patient who was in cardiac arrest. And our patient yesterday actually died um, from cardiac arrest, but it was really cool to see how, like it all goes down and stuff. And like we dealt with the post-mortem care and like got them all cleaned up and stuff like that. So that was good experience also, really sad. But I feel like this clinical, my last clinical, I'm actually getting a lot of hands-on experience. In no way do I feel ready to be a nurse, but I feel like I am learning more, so that's good. Um, we have a clinical packet due every single week, which you guys know, and it's a 13-page clinical packet. So I've done eight of those. I have two more to go, or we have to do 10. So I have two more to go, and then we've had four concept maps which I've done all those we've had three journals which I've done all those and we've had a teaching plan which I did that so <clears throat> coming down to the end of it all it's just crazy I've been so busy today is literally Friday and this video is going up on Monday normally I have my videos like edited and all that beforehand but I've been so busy that I just haven't had time 
and I was like vlogging is easy and it's fun so here I am but that's really it Austin got a job which is amazing um, it is a real estate job for a home builder near us um, but it's actually it's a company that's big everywhere which I'm sure you guys have heard of them before but um, it's actually about an hour and a half away from our hometown that he got this job at. So that's also like kind of overwhelming because obviously like we thought like when we, I'm graduating and then he's getting a job and I'm getting a job like we would, but he's like going away, which he's not moving over there yet, hopefully. But um, I don't know, we're all gonna, we're gonna play it by ear and see how it goes, but that's where we're at. He got a job an hour and a half away. Um, I'm really proud of him. It's great for him, like awesome experience and he needs it and he's been wanting this job. So I'm really happy that he got it. Um, but that's that. I have applied to a million job positions in Florida. You don't like other states, like you can, they have like a new graduate um, labor and delivery or a new graduate NICU or a new graduate um, postpartum care, new graduate OR, like so many different things. And my area, Tampa, we don't have any of that. <laughs> None of it. We have a residency program. The residency program consists of PCU, med surge, ortho, ortho med surge, um, neuro med surge, epilepsy units, um, stuff like that. ICU, like, and I'm just, I will do it. Like I'm going to be passionate about it and I'm, I, I like caring for people, but it's just not where I want to be. So I'll get there. I'll be there. It's okay. I'm like still applying to like mom baby positions and labor and delivery positions that say like require a year of experience knowing that I do not have anywhere near that, but I feel like it's worth a shot. I mean, at least you could do is try, put it all out there. So that's that. That's my update. I don't really have anything else for you guys. I've talked y'all's ear off, but I am pulling into Starbucks. I will see y'all in a minute. You want to work Starbucks? Can I get um, two venti iced peach green tea lemonades? Two iced venti peach green tea lemonades? Yes, but can I have light lemonade in those? Yeah. And then also unsweetened. Anything And then egg white bites. All right. And then just a small puppuccino. Egg white bites and a small puppuccino? Yep, and that's it. Thank you. Just got back. I fed Ella her breakfast. She ate her puppuccino. Not all of it. I shared it with the other dogs, but I'm just going to eat my egg white bites. They didn't put them in anything, which is so weird to me. Like, they literally just... Like... Where the heck is the, they normally put it in like a little, whatever. Same thing, I guess. But, I have class at 11 and it's 10.35, so I'm gonna eat this and go on my phone for a minute and then study. And then, well, I'll be in class, but. Anyway, I got my tea, cheers, mmm. The best thing in the world, really. It is so good. Yeah, I would do too. It's because of her GCS, and like she probably has some internal bleeding and needs adjusting or something. 18 year old, extricated from the back seat, eight months pregnant, complains of abdominal pain, um, multiple, multiple abrasions to her face and abdominal wall. Her abdomen is tender to palpation. She is in active labor. Vital signs 114 over 80, heart rate 102, respirations of 24. Like, I feel like that's an emergency. That would be today. Yeah. Especially because of the baby and she's an active Yeah. I think that would be better. Hello. So, I actually was supposed to be studying, but I ended up like creating. Um, you know the stoles for graduation that you wear like this? I ended up like creating one for me and like all my school friends. Um, I'll show you guys a picture of it, but I was doing that, so I didn't study. 
but it's super cute. I got some packages and I don't know remember what they are, so I'm like, why not be surprised with you guys? So let's see. I don't remember ordering anything. Like at all. It's my cap and gown. Duh. Wow, I did not even remember order. I literally told you guys this morning that I ordered my cap and gown, but I didn't remember that I did it. This is my um, graduation announcements. Can't really show y'all because my school's on it, but but I got those. So then I'm guessing this is my actual cap and gown. I knew I ordered a cap and gown, but I didn't, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe I'll go put it on. This is my cap. This is my gown. It's actually not that bad. I thought it was gonna be worse. I mean, it's giant, but I think that's how they're supposed to be. One more month. It's crazy, life goes so fast. But, I'm gonna... Anyway, I'm gonna change out of this and a uh, study. Okay, I am a horrible vlogger sometimes. But pretty much, um, I studied a little bit today. I got like some studying done, but not a lot. So I am about to take a shower and tonight we are going to a little like mini I guess you could say a mini concert. It's like outside and this guy named Chad normally plays at like our parties that we have here and he's like in a band. He's a singer. And they're playing in my boyfriend's neighborhood. So we're gonna go over there for a little bit and we're gonna bring all of our friends and just hang out there. Um, so I'm excited about that. But I'm about to take a shower and like get ready and stuff because it starts at six and it's already like 3.50, so I'm gonna start getting ready. So you guys are probably thinking, why are you straightening your hair? Your hair's always curled. Well, here's the thing. I straighten my hair before I curl my hair because I don't like to curl all of it. I, and I have really curly hair, so up here always gets curly. So I straighten it, that way I just can curl the ends a little bit. That's why I straightened it. And then I use this curling iron I've had forever, it's like Um, it's amazing. It's Lange, L-A-N-G-E. Awesome. And I have the brush from them, too. I know it's really bad for my hair, guys. You don't have to tell me. I know. But I did my makeup. I need to put mascara on. I know I don't have mascara on, but I'm almost done getting ready. I'm wearing this. Ow. I'm wearing this. No, I'm kidding. I'm not wearing this. But I'm wearing this over to Austin because I don't know what I'm wearing. So I'm bringing like a bunch of different outfits. But, but, I always say that. But, um, I'm excited for the food trucks because I love food. So I'm going to get some food at the food truck place. But yeah, it's a little country concert. So I'm going to wear cowgirl boots. <laughs> Kidding, I haven't worked out in like forever so as you can see I just curl the end and then I leave this the end like this out It's Kenra, and it's fast dry hairspray, <clears throat> but it's not crunchy. Do you know what I mean by like when you spray it and it's like crunchy? This isn't. So we're running a tad bit behind. It is 6.13 and Chad started playing 13 minutes ago. So we're leaving right now. I still have to do my mascara in the car. That's okay. So these shorts, and then this cute little top, and then I have this um, bralette under it with these cowgirl boots. That's the fit. 
but we are leaving now. Um, Carly, you wanna show, whoa. You wanna show the vlog your Fit Fit? They all want you to start a YouTube, so. Plus, you gotta describe it. What's the top? Oh, okay. We'll be back with Carly. Okay, she'll be back. But, and Austin is wearing. Yeah, babe, what are you wearing? Tell us. This is my fit. O'Neal shirt, dollar store shorts. Shut it. No shoes. Brennan, what's your fit? Dang, okay. He did his full spin. Ella, what are you wearing? I'm wearing my birthday dress. Beautiful. So She still has to do her makeup in the car because yeah, she's running ignore late. Ignore my face. Ignore it. So this is a top. Where is it from, Mal? Dade City? Somewhere, Dade, Dade City. City. Somewhere in Dade oh, City. Oh, so cute, okay. Um, so we're in Dade City, and then look at the back. Okay, I know so I'm, cute. I'm an esthetician. You're kind of burnt. I'm burnt really bad. I'm an esthetician, but I'm burnt, and I didn't wear sunscreen. Oh, <gasps> here we are. <laughs> but oh, it dang. Back, but it's really cute. It's so cute, okay. These are some shorts from Nordstrom. They're called, they're Good American. Go get them. Yeah, They're if you're cute. have a lot of money to spend. It, my mommy bought it. Yeah. <laughs> and then these are Mal's cowboy boots that she lent me because I don't have cowboy We're boots. We're boot girls. We're boot girls. So this is who we are. And we, so that's it. Do a spin it. for us. Oh. Whoa. Mal <laughs> Yes. Ella, Ella, take a spin. <gasps> Woohoo. Good girl. <laughs> Good job. Hello, it is 3.36 in the morning. I am exhausted, we just got home. We had a very, very, very long night. Yeah, we did. To say the least, but anyway, I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. You turn on my post notifications so you do not miss an upload. I upload every single Monday at 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.